Hey everybody, Economic Ninja here. We're gonna be talking about deflation and uh, the effects deflation is gonna have on the market, what causes it, all that good jazz. So without further ado, let's do this. Okay, here we go. This is a question that came in uh, from a subscriber and I thought it was great and uh, it's a real simple question. Hey Ninja, any thoughts on deflation coming into play? All right, so first off, the definition of deflation, and it's very broad, is this. The reduction of the general levels of prices in an economy. Well, that's really broad. And then he gives an example. A high time of employment and deflation. <laughs> so the facts are that, to say these, this definition is broad is an understatement, but um, they like to bring you into the thought of uh, that, well, let me hear it again that unemployment equals deflation, but that's actually not always the case. There is another type of deflation, and it's true. Uh, we saw this in 2006, 2007, when unemployment started ticking up, and just people had less, there was less high paying jobs to keep pressing the high levels of real estate up, right? But there's also a type of deflation that occurs between in the supply and demand dynamic, and that is, uh, and we'll give an example of lumber. Lumber was an excellent supply demand uh, thing. Uh, which actually converted into the demand just deplenishing. See, uh, not deplenished, yeah, just being destroyed. When lumber uh, went up, uh, it got to such astronomical levels, uh, people, because of the supply, right? That was the whole story. There's no supply, so the price is cruised up. Well, the problem is demand was destroyed because so many people that were using that lumber weren't using that lumber like where they like, I have to get this lumber in my hands because I have to build my house because I don't have another place to live. They said, I'm just building a shed. I'm just building a deck. I'm just gonna do a room addition, right? By and large, that's like 80% of the people that go into your home do it centers to buy lumber. That's what they're doing. They're not building a full house. And they said, the heck with this. Why would I spend three or four times more on the lumber portion of this when I can just wait? I'll just wait. I can wait it out. And what happened was because of the super high prices and you know they have a famous saying the cure for high prices is high prices and that's exactly what happened so you had the supply and demand dynamic turn into the demand is uh going to ex disappear because you guys are nuts i ain't paying for this so that's what took it down so with this question being any thoughts of deflation coming into play i said yes there i do see deflation coming to play it lines up with the dollar whippet theory where i i showed you we're going to go from inflation to deflation to hyperinflation and the reason why we're going to have deflation is because just that lumber was too high the heck with this steel is too high the heck with this we're not going to buy the steel we're going to we're either going to use a different material or we're going to wait all right and uh you're going to see that come into play I believe that the uh, forbearance, uh, when those start getting resolved, and the uh, eviction moratorium, you're going to see, uh, you know, those two things are going to level a lot of demand in so many different uh, areas in, in the economy. You know, electronics, I believe, are going to take a hit, and other things that are not consumer staples, right? Things that people need to survive. You couple that with the cost of fuel that's rising and food prices that are getting out of control. And now we're dealing with uh, food prices getting out of control, not only because of drought and weather issues, things like that, but now supply ch complete supply chain breakdown, okay? I believe people are gonna be spending more money on food and fuel, like I said back in April, than they're gonna care about buying lumber and building things and electronics. So yes, I do believe deflation comes into play. I do, uh, my personal theory, this is not trading advice. Um, I believe that the Fed is gonna do a whipsaw when uh, deflation rears its ugly head, which I believe is coming soon. Um, you know, I believe it's uh, honestly gonna be coming here within the next few months and then the, the Fed's gonna start to print money. So I hope you guys got something out of this. Uh, I thank you. Uh, in, during deflationary times, cash is king, remember that, but this is something that we have never experienced before in at least our lifetime, and that's a currency collapse. So uh, don't know if cash is gonna be good over the long term when we move into a hyperinflationary scenario, gold, silver, cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, I think will do very well. But again, that's not my financial advice, that's just what I'm thinking. All right, guys, that being said, the Economic Ninja is out.